man, I'm over here whipping niggas ass and man, and I see shade room over there on that whole shit. So let me address this shit. That girl is not real. She a catfish. That little child belong to somebody else. Nobody ever seen that girl before in their life. If she real, tell that bitch to post a video. Tell her to pull up at the studio. I'm in Houston right now. AB is a picture of my niece that she put on her page and tagged me. And anybody know, I comment on all my fans when they post pictures of me. I comment on the picture. She changed the caption. Changed everything else. You know what I'm talking about? That's my niece. That shit riot, bro. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all is stupid as fuck. And this bitch should say V-Live. I have never seen this bitch in V-Live in my motherfucking life, bro. Like, y'all stupid, bro. Like, goddamn. Hey, anybody ever seen this on V Live? Let me know. Let me know so I can pull up on there and give her that $1,000 that she talking about. Dumbass little bitch. And it's the last thing I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna go ahead and play man. If I had a child, I would be on child support. Not only I wouldn't be on child support, because I would be one hell of a motherfucking father to my child. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like that shit disrespectful to even play with a nigga like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck around like that. Well, Jackie Dumpson, check it out. Now, we're at a critical point, man. We got to decide, are we going to declare war on these thoughts or not, okay? Likewise with the thoughts, we got to declare war with the simps because simps are allies of thoughts. So if we're going to war with the thoughts, we got to get the simps too. Collateral damage. Now, here's the thing, man. You've seen a lot of these thoughts that get on social media. They throw a ton of soil on them like a rapper's name or a basketball player's name. And really, in these days and times, you basically see somebody get famous for being a baby mama. I've never seen something like this. Like, being a baby mama of someone famous kind of gets you fame, right? So, basically, when we see a story pop up where we see someone calling out their baby daddy, and it's a baby mama who is disgruntled, so you know that all the current uh, single disgruntled baby mama, they're all going to champion for that one disgruntled baby mama because she got a little fame. If you don't know, in the, like, thought, like, the thought motto is, all for one and one for all, birds of a feather got to flock together. So, they are really rallying for, like, one thought in, in distress. So, basically... One chick, she's a baby mama, allegedly. She's dating the designer version of Drake. If you don't know who that is, it's Kirko Banks. He had a song called, like, Drink In My Cup. I don't know where the fuck he went after that, but he had a song called Kirk, uh, Drink In My Cup, okay? Now, there's a chick who was claiming to be his baby mama. Now, she put up a text message supposedly with him and also an explanation, and she was basically using the sympathy card. Where have we seen that before? A thought using a sympathy card? <laughs> Nigga, please. Anyway, this is what she says or she's claiming that Kirko Bank said to her. Kirko Bank supposedly said to her, you know what? I'm really done here with you and everything else you put me through. Nothing but hell. If I don't want to see my daughter, then let me be. You ain't shit and never will be. Just some hoe I fucked and unfortunately got pregnant. I'm changing my goddamn number after this too. I want y'all gone and out of my life. I'll give you a thousand dollars when I get done with this tour. But after that, man, I don't want shit to do with y'all at all. No one is ever going to take you serious. You only good for one thing. Baby girl face them facts, all right? Now, she had a whole caption like crying, like a fucking sob story, begging for sympathy, okay? She said... I sit here and wonder what the fuck is going through my baby daddy. See, they always got some claiming shit. They always they always want to claim you. That's my baby daddy. Get the fuck out of here. She says, I sit here and wonder what the fuck is going through my baby daddy head, Kirko Banks. He can give these little hoes he meets on tour his dick and more. Make more time for them than he can with his own children. He'd rather be with IG famous models than own up to having kids. He talks about what I've put him through? Like, look at what you've put me through. You're so goddamn cheap, a thousand dollars? What the fuck is that supposed to do for me? You aren't shit. I hate you. Now, basically, once you see a thought start talking like dollar signs on uh, fucking Instagram, she's either about to bring your ass to court and get that child support check, or she's about to open up a GoFundMe page, all right? Now, here's the thing about this. Like, this chick actually posted this shit up. She got a ton of fucking support. You got all type of single, hopeless baby mamas rallying behind her like one for all, all for one, spamming this page. They're going in. You ain't shit, Kirko Banks. Take care of your child. Take care of your baby mama. Only $1,000. Buy her a Mercedes. Why you ain't all, all that annoying fucking shit? 
And basically, Kirk Banks had to clear this shit up by saying, you know this person's lying, right? You know this motherfucker, I don't know them, right? You know that's a fake page, right? You know that the person that they had me holding in a pic, talking about that's my child, that's my niece, right? You do you do know that this person's just making this whole shit up for attention and probably is going to finesse you out for your money talking about she needs it to care for my kid, which don't exist. So I'm telling y'all, man, I, we're at the point, I think we got to declare war. I, I, I'm contemplating it. We got to press, are we going to press the button or what? I'm telling you, so apparently this is some lonely chick, right? Creates a fake page, acts like she's actually in a relationship with Kirko Bangs, and that she's actually the baby mama of Kirko Bangs. Gain sympathy from a ton of other fucking hoes, and then try to use that to bring him down, and then he exposes her, and then she basically disappears off the internet. Come on, man. Come the fuck on, man. I'm tired of these goddamn thoughts, and fuck a simp while we're at it. Listen, are we going to declare war or not? Talk to me, people. Talk to me. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe to your boy Jackademics. I'm out.